I wanted to introduce the uh, Malthusian theories. So Thomas Malthus was a he was an English cleric and a scholar, and so he did like political economy and demography theories, and he wrote an essay where he spoke about um, sort of a balance between the food supply and well-being, and in his theory he had, well, he had noticed the populations, what they generally do is when they are capable of a more outputting more goods and more uh, food production that instead of people living a higher standard of living most populations what they do is expand their population instead for you know their future and I thought this was interesting and it plays into a lot of what's going on with the immigration that we see right now because America has indeed use our subsistence or our higher levels of food and production, you know, general production. We've used our higher levels for a higher standard of living instead of uh, having more, you know, as Trio says, white babies, white babies. <laughs> uh, having, you know, we've been having less kids and a higher standard of living. Well, many of these other countries around the world have done the opposite. And now, now what we have is they have hit their, um, when a population reaches to a point where they have so many people they can't really, like, feed themselves and they start to get all these diseases and stuff and society breaks down, this is referred to as the Malthusian cast catastrophe. So what you have is third world nations on a national level, they are hitting their Malthusian limits, their Malthusian catastrophes. And what's happening is that um, people in the U.S., you know, it's, you know, our fifis, um, not my fifis, but people in the U.S., their fifis, uh, <laughs> They're feeling sorry for these people and they're wanting to let them into our society. So while we were responsible about our re Malthusian limits, they were irresponsible about approaching their Malthusian limits. And our government is expecting us to take on the burden of them breaching their Malthusian limits and their societies hitting a Malthusian catastrophe. And, of course, the question begs from all of this. Why is everything the United States' responsibility? We were the most responsible until, you know... And now our society is actually breaking down because we have lost our survival instincts. We've lost our, our interest in thriving as a society. So... And, um, yeah, it's pretty sad. So, there's a reason why these countries are shitholes. They are shitholes because they have hit their Malthusian catastrophes. And it shouldn't be our responsibility to take up, to, uh, take on the burden of other countries hitting. All it would cause is for us to hit our Malthusian catastrophes. And is that fair to ask of our citizens, Dree? And it's time that other people like myself start standing up about this. I mean, I don't consider myself alt-right, but I do think a lot of the things that I speak about are um, things that they would also be interested in. For example, this video about the Malthusian limits and the Malthusian catastrophe. It's definitely, you know, whether you're just talking about America as a whole or white Americans, the fact of the matter is... It shouldn't be our responsibility. I, I say it as just Americans. I don't, you know, I will support, like, this idea that the blacks are saying, like, we should die and all of that. Um, like, Oprah said something about uh, white people just need to die already. Like, I don't support that, that double standard that, you know, certain populations can say these things and, you know, even me talking about us not hitting our Malthusian catastrophe, but being f socially forced to take on the Malthusian catastrophes of shithole nations, 
um, you know, it's like there, you know, people are going to sit there and, and judge me for saying that instead of realizing that I'm right, realizing that, that it's not America's place to take on the, um, when other countries don't mind their Malthusian limits. So thanks for stopping by my channel. I will see you all next time.